Good day. My name is Michael Vincent Absolueta, a nursing student at Cavite State University. And today I'm going to teach you on how you're going to make your own homemade orso. But first, let's define what's an orso. Orso is a solution which can replace the lost fluids and nutrients. By drinking orso, you're replacing the fluids and substances lost due to diarrhea. This has been proven effective and saved millions of children all over the world. But the one I'm going to teach you is how you're going to make your own homemade salt and sugar or so. It is a very good alternative for or so sachet. This method is easy to prepare and the ingredients are readily available in our homes, especially during emergency cases. So first procedure is to complete all the materials and ingredients that we're going to use. This includes our one liter of safe drinking water, if you don't have any source of distilled or purified water, you can actually use top water or water from the faucet. But, you should boil it first for about 15 to 20 minutes to make sure that all microorganisms living there will be killed. So, next ingredient is our iodized salt. This is important. It also has um, so some sugar. We also need an empty glass, then a saucer, a teaspoon and tablespoons, and a plastic glove. So next procedure um, is done. You should done hand washing, and I'm already done. And then wear a plastic glove. So we should wear a plastic glove so, so to prevent contaminating the orso that we're going to use. After wearing our, our, our gloves, um, get our empty, our empty glass, get a teaspoon of, get a teaspoon, one teaspoon of iodized salt, then put it on, the, on an empty glass. And then we also need um, sugar, it's about eight teaspoons. So one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So after putting sugar and iodized salt on an empty glass, put water. About half of the glass. So then get our tablespoon and stir it. So while stirring it, you can actually sing if you want. Or then. It actually depends on you. <laughs> stir it until uh, no visible particles of sugar and iodine is visible. So after stirring it thoroughly, we can now put it on our um, pitcher. And then get our tablespoon again and stir it. We should um, stir it thoroughly so we can assure that all particles are will be break down. So after stirring it, so we're done. So we're all done. So this is our homemade salt and sugar orso. So let's try it. Mmm. So, if it, uh, so I have here, um, so I have here some empty uh, cards. I have here some cards, and 
you can write here your questions or any clarification that you want to know and I'm going to answer it. So, here you go. I'm sorry. So, set aside our... Also. So, you can write there um, all the clarifications and questions that, you're, that you want to know and I'll, I'll try to answer it. So, are you done? So, okay, first question. Okay, thank you. So, first question. What is the reason why we should use iodized salt in making our salt rather than using rock salt? So, thank you again. Um, good question. Um, we should use, it is important to use iodized salt to, in making an ore salt rather than using ordinary salt or rock salt because iodized salt contains essential minerals such as sodium, chlorine, and iodine. Sodium and chlorine are minerals that are res responsible, responsible for maintaining fluid and acid-based balance in our body. It also maintains normal muscle irritability or excitability. And for iodine, um, it helps for the synthesis of thyroxine that aids for the normal body metabolism. Um, ordinary rock salt do not contain good amount of iodine, and it may cause unwanted diseases such as um, hypertension or other kidney, dis kidney diseases. So thank you. And to show you the difference between uh, a rock salt and an iodized salt, so I have here two black containers. Uh, I'm going to get. Um, an iodized salt and put it on one of the containers. Okay. I will show you the difference. So, this container include uh, ha it has our iodized salt, and then next. So this is our rock salt. So get a teaspoon. So and so you can be able to see it clearer. Okay, so so this is our rock salt, ordinary rock salt, so it's granulated, and when I first saw it, I thought it was beads, so, so, so that's our rock salt, and then I have here our iodized salt, see that, it is much finer, and I thought it was sugar. So uh, that's the difference between the two. So thank you. So next question, please. Okay. Um. So next question. Okay. Next question. How much oral salt or should be given to patients or clients after every water stool? So, of giving an oral salt to our patients or clients depends on their um, age group. For children below two years old. Um, give about one four to one half glass of or so. For children two to ten years old, um, give about one half to one glass of or so. And for ch and for ch older children and adults, give or so as much as they want. So um, thank you. So other questions? Okay, the third one. Okay, thank you. So this will be the last. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, uh, so thank you. So, what signs that will occur that requires urgent hospitalization? So, thank you again. So, it requires an urgent hospitalization if the patient or your, um, or our client is lethargic or unconscious, has a floppy, dry, and sunken eyes, dry mouth and lips, drinks the poorly or not able to drink, and um, his or her um, skin turgor uh, goes back for about, um, for about more than two seconds. So I will show you to how to check that. So this is our skin. So skin turgor. See that? If it it go goes back for about uh, for more than two seconds, it means that our patient or client is already dehydrated. So thank you. So this is my freestyle video and I hope that you learned something. Thank you.